Good evening, friends. My name's Hal. And I think this time of year, I should play something appropriate. And since Limbo has been just kicking my butt, and I'm not excited to get back to it, despite it being a great game, I think I'll play another game that is similarly spooky, but perhaps even more so. This is Amnesia the Dark Descent. If you've never heard about it, it came out, well, at the beginning of this current decade. Or the end of the last one. I think it was the beginning of this one. Who cares? Anyway, it's spooky. And it's old. And it's on the PS4. So naturally, as the only thing I can stream from is the PS4, that is what I will do. I'm going to play this, and you may be wondering how. Why haven't you started already? The answer is because I'm frightened. I started playing this game at the beginning of last year, and it was terrifying. So I'm going to start a new one. Also, I'm having some sensory overload and some Tourette's issues, so I figure what better way to capitalize on my own personal discomfort than to play something deeply scary. I have increased the brightness a little bit, which I know is a big no-no with this game, but if when you stream things, it ends up decreasing the brightness. So. Alright. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's get into this. I would like to start a new game. Okay. This is a horror game. It is spooky. It talks about evil things. My parents wouldn't like this game, but they won't forget this game. Some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London. At sub at Dan the Meme Man. Mayfair. What have I done? You only go around once crazy. in life. Don't forget. So Don't eat forget. ass, smoke grass, and sled fast. My name is. Duly noted, Daniel. So I am Daniel, if this is to be believed. Now I should have you know that all of the lights are off in my apartment. I am quite alone. I also scare easily. If you scare easily, this might... Oh, God, it's so blurry. Okay, a memento has been added to the journal. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. No notes, no diaries. I assume that's the liquid trail. Alright. It goes that way. Before I do that, yeah. right, okay, hold down R2, move the right stick in order to move the door, press L1 to throw the door open or shut, depending on the direction you face. Okay. Well, oh, that is already. Oof. You're just gonna. Mm, yep, I can. Okay, picked up that Tinder box so I can go on a date now, get my heart broken. Pick up this chair. Ooh. Holding an object. Press L1 to throw it. Neat. Stare at this candle some. Maybe that'll level me out a bit. Oof. I have motion blur. Just gonna pick this up. Whee! That is far more fun than it is any right to be. not gonna light those candles. Well, I'm not going this way. Alright. Nope, not gonna light that. 
Nice. Not gonna waste my tinder boxes. Only got the one. Alright, liquid trail goes that way. I'm gonna keep poking around. There's one thing I've learned. It's that you loot everything. I wonder who taught me that. Alright, nothing here. This is fine. Oh! Oh, I don't like this. Fine, fine. I'm gonna keep going. Look at that candle. It's a nice candle. Nice candles. Feels good, man. This is nice. Oh! Oh, that just opened on its own. Okay. This is otherwise it is. Nice bright room. You know what? Maybe I check if. Um. Okay. Can't go through there. This is fine. This. This is fine. It's fine. Alright, cool, there's a shirt. Tinder boxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. The current number of tinder boxes is shown in the inventory. I have two tinder boxes. Okay, so I don't need to hold down the inventory button. My health all is good. My sanity is crystal clear. Just like in real life. I have no oil. I have two tinder boxes. And I have a journal. This is fine. A shirt, but no pants. None. All right. Mmm. Oh, this just feels so healthy. Anything here? Oh yes, another tinderbox. And a broom! I can... Yes! Finally clean up this place. God. Were you born in a barn? Come on. Actually, I'm just gonna... Heh. <laughs> That's never going to get old. Alright. So I gotta go that way. This door opened all on its own, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure that mark was always there. Get another tinder box. The sensitivity on this thing is a little weird. Pick this bottle. Chug. Done with that. That's a nice fire. I like it. Maybe I'll find some rupees in this pot. Nope. All right. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Oh, I've got two watchers. I'm gonna close this door behind me, thanks. I tell you, closing the doors with the sticks is a wild thing. Okay. Can I not? Okay, push it. Push it real good. Hi. I'm not looking at my chat right now, but I will in a little bit. Did you hear that? Um. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. How's my sanity with all that creaking? Crystal clear. I am the sanest motherfucker in the valley. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. We're good. Oh! What? 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 
What's happening? What is what is going on? Okay. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. It's, you know, it's fine. This is fine. All right. Let me just Let me just Let's keep going. I am so ready to be spooked. All right. Okay. I guess I'll just walk very slowly. I, ooh, three people. Oh, that door is opening on its own. Okay, I can crouch. You know, I don't remember what the controls are. <laughs> Let me just check. Okay, crouch, jump, lantern, journal, lean? throw run that's right I have a run button but I can't use it okay any anything anything there all right just gonna I live here now we're good okay no that makes me a little weirder fine I didn't want to get in that box anyway. What's in here? Anything? It's pretty dark in here. Ha <laughs> ha Nifty! Alright. No chair can stand the wrath of me. For I am Daniel. You know, for these doors that keep opening on their own, keep opening to really friendly looking rooms. I'm not going that way just yet. Another shirt. See, this is a good room. No, it's not a good room. I was wrong. I was wrong. This room is bad. This room is bad. That is a bad room. So. Light? Light? Right. Right, token. Nope. Okay. See, I have light. I'm good. I'm fine. It's fine. Jesus, huh? Yeah, we're just gonna... Close that up. this breeze. This place is drafty. Into the old archives we go. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Mm. Ah, I got torches. This is great. This is nice. That sure is some liquid. Gonna read this book. Yeet. Gonna read this book. Fanzenreich. Fanzenreich. What? Oh! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Every time I think I get something nice. So take the fuck away, and I hear Daniel grinding his teeth, and I don't like it. This is fine. 
Mmm. Mmm, bugs. Mmm. Yep, this is fine. I'm just gonna... Oh, God, my controller's vibrating. I just... I need the tinderbox. Boy, I'd sure like a lantern. I need to find a lantern before one can be turned on. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is me walking, and this is me running. Mmm, running so fast. Daniel, for God's sake, stop grinding your teeth. Mmm! I sure don't like this. How's my sanity doing? Head is pounding, hands are shaking, knees weak, arms spaghetti. Whatever we're doing, can we not do that? Check this foot locker. Tinder. Tin Tinder. Picked it up. Can I read this? Of course not. Why would I be able to? Right, if things are important, they'll be glowing. I remember. Definitely remember. <laughs> it's so dark in here. Oh, it won't open. It's locked. Well, guess I'll leave. Well, we had a good run. Thanks, everyone. I've been Daniel, and this has been. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, can't go that way. So that door is locked. Where can I go? Sure, like a light fixture. Sure would enjoy a light fixture. Oh, here's a room. No, I was just in this room and there were bugs on the floor. I don't have a lantern. Less of a run, more of a brisk stride, huh? You know, this feels like light. Is that light? Does that count as light? Ah. Okay, got the chat open. So what am I supposed to do? You tell me what I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? There are five hints of the liquid trail and find its source. Well, it's through that buckety door. I don't have a key. No, oh, bitch needs a key. Hey, bitch found a lantern! And I have some oil. Sweet. And that door opened. Nice. Ha! Huh. I was able to light that torch the whole time. Whew. Yeah, that's that's pretty normal. Hi. Can we not do that? Can we not do this? Mm. Is that is that not open? <sighs> Fuck your trunk. All right, that's fine. This is fine. And I got six of those. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick my head right in here.
Anything? No? Gosh. That's some great object physics. Alright. Well, this appears to be the source of the, uh, the liquid trail. And that sounds like good music. Sweet, got some oil. Okay. If I want to add more oil to the lantern, I just do the thing. Neat. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. I guess that's why they call it the Dark Descent. <laughs> you know, that's fine. Here's a note to my future self. Commit murder. Alright! Anything? Anything we gotta... Alright, well... We gotta do ourselves a Dark Descent, huh? So, all right, okay, that was my note to myself, I'm just going to yeet this chair, I said I'm just going to yeet this chair, thank you, you'd think I could pick up this candle, but no, that'd be too sensible. So I guess, I'm gonna guess, when I go back through that door, I'm probably going the wrong way. That sure sounded like something. I wonder why I had to forget things. Well, I've got amnesia, and I've got to descend darkly into the dark. Yeah, I gotta read that note again. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Right on. Inner Sanctum. Find it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can't fight anything. Just gotta run. Just gotta run. To do. Run, run, run. Oh, I'm grinding my teeths. Oh, I'm so prepared to be spooked. Oh, I'm already being spooked. I'm gonna stare at this torch. Slight headache, but I'm fine. I'm Gucci. Uh, it's inner frickin' sanctum. Boy, I'm real sorry if you started watching this game assuming I would know what I was going to do. I feel like at least some of you knew better. Oh, boy. Hey. 
You know what? I need a hint. If any of you is, uh, got a hint, I'd be so happy. Thanks. I knew you knew better. <sighs> right. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So do I. Oh, there's a hole. Has that hole always been there? Can I crawl? Crawl up through it? Yeah, I need hints. Please. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, hang on. Hang on. I got this. I got this. But if you have a hint, that would be so good. I'd be so happy. Check the walls. Duly noted. Oh! <laughs> God. Wow. Thank you. Ugh. I appreciate that. Alright. Door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Okay, that's more of a run. Mm, Alright, can't go there. Oh! Whoa! Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. The refinery. Fabrica Elicatoria. Right. So that's where I gotta go. But there's probably stuff to loot. No, oh, I don't like these, um, screams. These screams are not good. Oh, won't budge. What a surprise. Nothing? This place sure has seen some better days. Okay, archives. Stuck. Jammed. Ooh, tinderbox! Give, give me the tinderbox. Give me the tinder. Tin, thank you. Hmm, not gonna jump. I know better. I just, you know, one person. It's pretty fucking spooky. Anything? I gotta. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Hit the mother load. Tuna box and some more. some unfriendly looking cockroaches. Not that I've ever seen a friendly looking cockroach except, you know, maybe Rochi from Monster Factory, but that's it. Oil, yeah. I'm gonna add oil to my lamp. Sweet. No! Okay! Okay, I can't go through that door. That... Neat. Tinderbox. 
Nope, that's that's the jump button. There we go. Alright. That's cool. Blood. Alright. Time to penetrate the inner sanctum. I mean yeah. Finery. Fine. Sweet. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Well, it's tough and pliant. Can't be torn by hand or tools. Well, looks like I have to find something to dissolve that. Wonder if there's a laboratory. There is a laboratory. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Boy, none of these things seem to make any sense. Oh, good. Fine. Fine. This is... This is fine. I'm gonna stare at this torch. Ah. <sighs> That's nice. That's some good torch right there. Sure nothing bad's gonna happen to these stairs. Nope, nope, stop moving my camera. Oh, I'm hearing things. And stuff. Buzzing. Anything? No? Cool. Oh, boy. Again, that's the jump button. One time for the whole family. in this dark room where I am playing this video game. Oh, fan chemistry pot. That, you know, that paper's just shaking. Early alchemy experiment. And this is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. It's time I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and provide, proves impractical to put any use except as a detergent. In case I need to do my laundry, could I have some change? Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. So, calamine, orpiment, cuprite, and aqua regia. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Hey, it's a chemistry set. And a note. 
Chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Great, because if there's one thing that I've learned from fiction and the internet, it's that good things happen when you go to wine cellars in creepy castles. Mm. I'm sure he does not have any rare wines. I have been misled. I have been deceived. Wait, is that does that have something? That does. Skinny. It's fine. Yes. Alright, well, I just gotta go to the wine cellar to get those chemicals and then come back here to do the thing. Does that, does that sound amenable to everyone? You're just gonna let me do that, right? Cool, back to the entrance hall. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. It's better than striking his victim with a rock. Alright, I'm assuming. That's a wine cellar. It's locked. Will not open without a key. Find a key for the wine cellar. Fine. Because it's that easy, right? It's that frickity easy. Stop hissing at me. All right. We're good? Great. You'll be good. You'll be great. Got the whole world on a plate. That's the old archives, which is where I was. This bit up here is just the regular archives. I wonder if you'd keep a key in the archives. Archives! The fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. <sighs> My friend, it's Istanbul. Not Constance, no. Alright. Timely reference. You know, this place looks friendly. Oh, but my vision does not. Why? Why? We're fine. Rare books. It's fine, Daniel. God, Daniel. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Yes. Later that evening, Don't we, all know that we story? uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. 
Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. We wouldn't be British if we weren't raiding tombs! Alright, starting from the bottom, now we're here. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. Sorry. There. Get it. All right. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice. A net loss of zero tinder boxes. Another note. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. Well, sooner or later you have to break the seal. Just to rule the drinking. This is fine. It's fine. Catalogi. Fuck your ink pot. No? Can I open these windows and escape? Of course not. Why would I be able to do that? Study. Would be untrue. Come on, maybe let my fire. Okay, gotta stop playing her fast and loose with these tinder boxes. More shirts. At least I'll never run out of shirts. Another note. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. I'm sure that was Our torches fine. burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The and walls were lined chamber. with statues I'm unlike sorry, any dumb. I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. 
I was trapped. All right. I suspect, though, that I got out of that somehow. I don't know why I suspect that. Maybe because I'm not still stuck in there. down, Daniel. Local history. Eh, not ready for that yet. Old Tomes. That just fell on its own. So is that... Is that music something I'm hearing in character, or...? Awesome. Bitchin'. Okay. None to see here. Get a stare at that light, and we're good. I'm fine. Stuck. Door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Well, if there is. Be this way, I think. Um, this is a big room, Daniel. Get it together, God. sure where I'm trying to go is here. I'm going to take this chair and throw it, thus asserting my dominance over this space. I Did you hear that? Yeah, that is some forest. would otherwise be a really nice room. Just gonna, you know, clean up a bit. Actually really pretty. Maybe anyway, I'm gonna bring out my lantern. Cause nothing bad's gonna happen to me. Nothing bad. I'm gonna play Moonlight Sonata, okay? Do 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 I think that's how it goes. Oh yeah, it's dark. Fuck that. Fuck that. Alright, fine, I'll light something, Daniel. If you'll just calm down. You ninny bitch. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so rude to Daniel. Floor plans. Map some floor plans, huh? Wonder do I get <laughs> Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. Well, I don't Let's the find time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. 
We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Nope. Out of oil in my lantern. Get out. Fine. It's fine. Oh, I can't wait. Hmm. Now, I definitely heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Um, can I not? I can't pick up that chair. I can pick up this chair. I'm swinging around wildly. I can throw it. but not breakable by hand. Oh! Nice. I'm glad. It, you know, wonderful. Wait a sec, if I pick up... Can I yeet it at... Yes! I can. Kiss my ass, bitch! I'm immortal. Daniel. Daniel. There, are you happy now, Daniel? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh. A book. And a tinderbox. Alright, what's on the paper? Oh! Oh, I don't. Oh, that was, that was the wrong thing to do. Why was that the wrong thing to do? Why am I crawling under the table? 17th of May. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. And I died, I and this game ground, never happened. Gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Which I'm it doing was right now. Waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. None behind me. Okay, I have to. If I move the camera away, it comes back to the, the light. I'm sure this is fine. I'm just gonna circle straight around it. Okay. I'm gonna leave now. No, I can't. Okay. I'm just gonna touch the glowing blue orb. Like Donald Trump. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Huh. I'm fine. It's fine. We're good. I'm just gonna clean up after myself. A little bit. We're good. I'm gonna pick up these candles. Oh wait, I can't do that. For no good reason. Someone was playing the piano. Again! What? 
Yes, must find new way out of this area. Yes, I know. Hoopsie doozy. Hoopsie daisy. Everybody get up. <clears throat> ow, ow, ow. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. Oh no. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. No. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. I remember this puzzle. I hate it. Uh, let's see what the memento says. There is some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. It's a timing puzzle. Stat and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Three books. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment and won't at all keep you awake at night. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society pay notice as he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow at the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at the castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Nifty! 
All right. Okay, fine. Are you happy now, Daniel? Okay, I'll push that in. Okay, so I think I know which books it is. So push it. One. Please, two, two, three. There we go. We're good. I'm so good at video games, and I found a key to the wine cellar. Oh, God, what was that? What was that? No, seriously, what was that? But what was it? Okay, this is fine. Anyway. Ooh! Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with our absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. <laughs> All right. Okay, Dan Dan. You ready, Dan Dan? Oh, that door just opened on its own. That door was locked, but now it's open. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't... I don't really remember which way it... Oh! What was that? You know what? I'm not gonna stick around to find out what that was. Um... I'm gonna look at this light. Boy. I definitely didn't get spooked out by seeing my hand icon appear. I definitely didn't get spooked out by that. Probably already looked through those. Just to be on the side. Okay. How's my sanity? My health is good. I've only got a slight headache. How's my lantern? Uh, well, it'll be fine. It's fine. I definitely remember how to get out of here. Nah, easy peasy. It was done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Hinan awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. That sure is how grammar works. People can grin things. No! No! What? That's, you know, just raspberry jam. Okay. Light. 
It's good for you. Light is good for Daniel. <laughs> it's lava. <sighs> Unlock the door. A handful of sand trickled from this crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the rim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. This is fine. This is so good. Okay. Beware! But did he leave you any food, you dumb idiots? What? Enemy! What enemy? Is there an enemy around here? Oh, I don't like this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like that. That's, you know, not the button I thought I'd press. Okay, that's how I lean. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear what it means at this moment. You mean everything. How's my health? Sanity, slight headache. Again, we're good. Yeah, it's fine, really. This is fine. you yep yep all that is good all this is good grinding your teeth Daniel that's super bad for you. I'm just gonna stare at this light for a little bit. And hopefully nothing good will happen. Why do I hear footsteps? Why do I... Yeah, nope, nope, there's someone here. Orpiment. Orpiment. Tinderbox. Neat. like to be hearing footsteps that are not mine right now. It would be really ideal to not be hearing footsteps that are not mine. But 
perfect tinderbox. Neato. Yep. Yep. like that. Don't much care for that. <sighs> Definitely not going to make a big old fucking ruckus. Knock over all these barrels. Funny that the Cooperite is in with the barrels because the Cooper is a barrel maker. You know? Get it? Mm. No? Okay. That's, um, hmm. That's an intriguing liquid trail. Um, yep. That's some, some footsteps that sure ain't mine. I got the cuprite and got the orpiment. Okay. Chemistry pot. Orpimol. Orpiment. Cuprite. I just need, um, frickin'. Calamine and aqua regia. Hmm. Another, uh,. Good old chemical trail. Yes! Yes! Oh, pigeon! We filled lantern with a few drops of oil. That's fine. Nice ads. Or plain, rather. Okay, tinderbox. And that's how I died. <gasps> okay, well, the good news is my lantern's fine. Bad news is I'm gonna have to turn on a candle because I'm scared. And that was scary. Okay. Calamine, got the Cooper, got the Orpiment. Six, excuse me, thingies of oil. Tiny bit of oil. Eleven tender boxes. <sighs> Health, a few cuts and bruises, because I did just get something dropped on me. No. I won't do that again. I died. Ah. We're good. Smart ass. Alright. Okay. 
fragrance. The mask was rose. Um, I heard taste the fragrance master's robes what this is fine it's fine hmm okay did that cool okay so good we're so good I'm doing great I'm just the best at video games Okay, I just need one more thing. That's easy. Nope! Nope! Okay, that's cool. Cool. It's fine. I'm just gonna look at this candle, and that'll make me happy. Oh, Damascus Rose. I heard the Master's Robes, and I was really confused. <laughs> Let me tell you. That's just me when I have too much pepperoni. My god, Wilhelm, do something! Accept it. We're not getting out of here alive. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Alexander seems like a real bad dude. I can already see why he has to die. You know. Sort of. I'm crouching, aren't I still? Yep. Another tinder box. Hell yeah, that's human flesh, isn't it? My Yep. That dude's uh that dude exploded. A man exploded uh, down here. This is fine. It's fine. because I've got a very bad feeling about what's going to happen. Picked up the Aqua Radia. Oh. Well, that was the good healing music. We're fine. I'm fine. It's cool. I'm so good at this. <clears throat> Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gerich. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brennenberg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. Wow, kinky! It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I'd been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. He was a busy bee. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. After all, nothing bad happens in wine cellars, ever in fiction. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. 
So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer. I can no longer what? Okay. I got the Orpiment. Got the Cuprite. Got the Calamine. And I got the Aqua Regia. I'm ready to do some fucking science, bitch! Let's get a fizzity out of here. Cool. Into the entrance hall I go. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on the SS Hortensia, headed for London. London. Mmm, 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 mmm. No, no jam, no jam, no thank you. <laughs> I don't want this. That's the way into the laboratory. Ow, 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 ow. We're fine. He sat down by the Caspar wall, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead into the sand veiled ground. <sighs> We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. See? Why am I shaking? Why are things shaking? It's fine. I'm just uh, looking at the torch, and it's cool. We're fine. Fucking science, bitch. Daniel. Stop shaking. Daniel. Stop shaking. Daniel. Fine. Daniel, I swear to God. Daniel. Slight headache, but everything shaking. If I look anywhere that isn't a light, I am fucking shaking. Why? What is your beans, my friend? Alright. This is fine. So. Orpiment? Neat. Cuprite. Neat. Calamine. Nifty, oh god! Oh, that's the jump button. Twist in it. Oh, right. The frickin' chemistry pot. Please 
messed up. See, can It's cool, Daniel. We're good. We're fine. I have the pot of acid. I have pot and I have acid. <laughs> 420. <laughs> right. We're moving and grooving and oh, the staircase is gone. That's fine. Jokes on you, I vaguely remember how to do this. Ah. <laughs> nice try. Game impossible to avoid. Commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Oh god, there is so much jam. All the walls. Oof, 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 everything. Everything is bad. Everything is terrible. Everything is so bad forever. Right. This is fine. Thing, I guess. All right. Look out, bitch. I've got acid. Take that. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them. Time to descend to Alexander's cake lair indeed. Alright. Whoop. An oil potion? You need to find an oil potion and use it to make the lantern work again. You could just call it oil. that it's saying that and I haven't seen any enemies and I feel like I'm just missing it and that's not good and also the screen is going all wibbly and I'm going to die okay I'm saying I'm totally fine
right. <clears throat> what? Oh, oh, that's a flappy. Okay. I need a moment. <sighs> Just like Daniel needs moments, so do I. Because I am a Weenie Hut Jr. This lamp. And there's jam on the floor. that away, Daniel. Okay, there's a chain. How am I doing? Oof, I've only got six tinder boxes. I better be a little more conservative with those. I got five thingies of oil left. Five oil potions. Oil potions. Yes, it's a potion. It's oil. It's like, no, it's just... It's just oil. oil. Oh, it is so dark. It is so dark in here. For you. Lawnum. Oh, <laughs> bitchin'. Let's get high. Okay. Improve health. Heal wounds. Not yet. <laughs> no. Not opening that door. Yes, I know I said I was going to be a little more conservative with those, but I'm scared, okay? 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Yeah, no, that's mm, sure. Right, okay. Yep. We're good. Excuse me. I'm sorry for the burping. But. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Alright, Flappy. Do your worst. Or better yet, please don't. Jam. Nice. Stuck. Well, that is 
where I'm supposed to go. Any monsters here? I disrespect your bridge, goat man. Sanity is dangerously low, just like in real life. Pfft. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. I've got some light. I'm staring at a candle right now. Daniel? 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. Behaving? They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. That doesn't Yesterday, mean... I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. Mm. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Which from what I understand Smith is not actually true. my mind a bit. But I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. How's that sanity? Fine. Ah, that's buggy. Alright, I know what I need to do though. I need to- Daniel! Daniel, I swear to fuck! Right, this here is a puzzle. I gotta make progress so I can improve that sanity. <sighs> well, no time like the president. Hatch is too heavy to lift by hand. I gotta do the thing with the stuff. There was nothing. Something's clogging it. There's a fucking stick. Oh, I might have known. I'm gonna light this because there's a tinderbox right here. And God help me, I need the light. Little 
so unsteady. Can I? Sweet. Did that help? Ah, <sighs> head is pounding. Hands are shaking. Knees weak, arms spaghetti, but it's still better than an ellipsis. Alright, let's do this shit. Crashed through the surface, the dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Fine, we're doing great. If you've ever heard of Amnesia the Dark Descent, you've probably heard of the water area from the water monster. This is that! <laughs> yeah, I figured. Hey, maybe wanna um, stop what you're doing? I'm sure I could investigate those areas, but I'm uh, not very good at video games. No! Oh! Oh! Get out! Oh, the water! Get out of the water, Daniel! How's that sanity? Mmm. So good. Heavy gate, huh? A heavy gate.
Monster. I'm sure you're enjoying all this splashing around nonsense. But. moving that's that's real nice backtrack a little oh Definitely supposed to be in here because it doesn't want me to. Okay. Well, that's poor York. <laughs> be helpful if I remembered which button is the run button. Oh, well, that laudanum doesn't actually get me any closer to uh, opening up that gate. Good. So good a video game. All right, lever? Button? Mm, a puzzle? something. Dan Dan? Dan Arino? Dan Marino? Dan Marino the Marine the Marine the Dan? Dan? Dan the man. Dan the man. Daniel, my motherfuckers. Hell yeah, bitch. Okay. All right. Well, the good news is I've got loads of human corpse parts to eat.
Okay. No, I'm doing great this time. I feel confident. I feel like a million torsos. Take it a lot in them. Barely conscious, eh? We're good. The wound is bleeding quite badly. That's fine. With that. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay, hurry up, Daniel. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. Eat that torso, bitch. Daniel? Daniel? Well? Oh. Oh, how lovely. with a simple lock. Do I have a key? Okay. All I need. Exactly what I need. Cool. I'm good. I did it. I did it. I did it. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried as the ocean swallowed him again. Alright. Okay. Made it to a new area. I think that is enough for one night. <sighs> I hope to continue this again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. My name has been Hal, and I hope you are better at video games than I am. Have a good night. <laughs>